So rain was forecast, and as you can hear, rain we have. It's been raining pretty much most of the night, I think, and I've just been waking it up from time to time and listening to it, and then rolling over and going back to sleep. I guess that's an advantage of not being in any rush today. I don't have to hurry up and get out, get packed, or anything. There wasn't much wind last night, or even if there was, I was going to be sheltered by the trees. It's been pretty still all night. Um, with the rain coming in, I haven't looked outside yet. I guess I should probably do that. Maybe I should get you to do that first and you can come back and tell me what the weather looks like. Okay, this morning's breakfast is the, the messy one. We have a nice big tent meals blueberry burst breakfast. So I need to get into this. First aid scissors. And I've already got my water boiled. Oh, I don't need my spoon. Can I find the bag? Wrong bag. Can I find the right colored bag? Uh, I guess not. Right, let's dump this in first and then I'll worry about hunting for that. Ow, 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 hot, hot, hot. Looks grand. I better find this spoon and give it a stir. Well, that's been plenty of time for this to um, firm up, get wet. So let's give it a go. This is a good breakfast. It's probably overkill for what I need for the was it four kilometers to walk and then 12 kilometers to cycle? But I'll take it. This will probably see me all the way home, not just back to the car. So as you can see, the rain's stopped and I've managed to get out of the tent. And it's looking like a lovely day. There's um, some nice blue skies up above me. Fionn Ben across the other side, although you probably can't see it for that big tree, is looking lovely with the sun hitting it, hitting the bits of snow on the top. Everywhere around me is soaking wet, so I've got nowhere to sit, but that's okay. I'm gonna get this eaten, and get my stuff packed away, and then get going. So much for those blue skies. Where have they gone? Lost the tops of the hills and everything. This is gonna be a delightful walk back. Hope it stops before I'm cycling. Clouds clipping the tops of those hills this morning is making them look rather spectacular. I was meant to wake up up there this morning. I think I'm getting the better bargain down here. That's the rain off again. Looking behind, it looks like it might be clear, at least until I get back to the bike. And I am sweltering in these waterproofs. Oh, the sun's even trying to come out. Yeah, time to lose the waterproof layer. And on we go. Down there is my bike, and it should be just about here at the end of the trees. Well, let's go down there and see if it's still chained up.
Oh, that was a blast. Obviously, that's me back at the car now. It's taken me, it's taken something like half an hour to do the 13, what was it, 12, 13 kilometers to come back from, uh, from Fanach Lodge. So that was, that was good fun. Hopefully I got some nice good clips. It's not been the weekend that I'd planned. I'd planned to do quite a few of the Fanachs, if not all of them, uh, depending on how, uh, how tired I got. Um, I only managed to do two in the end. The wind was just far too strong. However, to go out on Easter weekend, go deep into the Fanix, have a couple of wild camps, take in a couple of hills, get some fantastic views, we'll get some um, bike and hiking on the go, has been well worth the effort. Weather's been mixed, but it's lovely and warm just now, and I'm gonna get home a little bit early to spend some time with my family on Easter Monday. So that's all for me. I'll see you on my next adventure. Goodbye.